Welcome to the Minot Area ELCA Virtual Blue Christmas Worship Service. It is a service of contemplation for those who don't find Christmas so merry. The Blue Christmas Worship Service is about naming the fact that for many people, the joy, celebration, and expectation of this time of year is often tinged with sadness. This is a service for those who find rejoicing hard work for a variety of reasons. This may be due to the loss of a loved one through death or divorce or separation. Others are coping with the loss of employment, the loss of health, the loss of community and familiarity, the loss of independence. It is a service of healing when life is rough when we are lonely, in mourning, feeling alienated and cast apart from family celebrations. Especially in this year of 2020, a pause to reflect seems particularly poignant. A global pandemic, the tensions of ongoing racial injustice and political division have rocked the foundation of our nation. Sickness, death, isolation, joblessness, economic instability, they all impact us this holiday season. We worship on the longest night of the year in recognition that sometimes the holidays bring sadness in the midst of celebration. Yet we also recognize that part of the reason for Jesus' coming was to bring hope and comfort, to heal the sick, to seek the lost, to restore the broken and the brokenhearted. This Blue Christmas worship service is an opportunity to take time to sit in the darkness, to bring before God our sadness and our sorrows, to recognize that there are often no easy answers or quick fixes but to seek hope in the midst of wherever we find ourselves. The Reverend Claire Brown says, here's the thing about hope. Hope inherently requires recognizing something is wrong and something better and different is possible. Before we get to the merry and bright, the glory of God become human, we have to acknowledge our deep need for divine intervention.
We gather tonight for many reasons. Because we feel broken, saddened, exhausted, lonely, and fearful. Because we want to worship in hope that this world and our lives may be better. We gather in this Advent, this time of looking and waiting. Waiting for the world to change, to be a place where peace is known and lived completely. Waiting for people to change, to care for each other and not use and abuse them. Waiting for a time when justice for all really means justice for all. Waiting for an end to disease, to know a world of health and wholeness for all people. Waiting to find our place in the presence of God that sometimes seems so far away. And waiting for the Christ to come and claim his kingdom. We lament that we cannot gather together in body and call upon your presence as we gather in mind and spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, wherever you may be. Let us pray. God of mercy, we gather this evening to confront our pain in the midst of the world's celebration. Help us to know that you are present with us in all of our moods and feelings and seasons. Grant us a taste of the hope, peace, joy, and love that you promise to all of your people through the gift of your Son, Jesus. Amen. From 2 Kings chapter 20 I have heard your prayer I have seen your tears indeed I will heal you recalling our baptism O God we offer to you this water water that breaks forth from the womb bearing the life of this world water that rushes down mountainsides water that crashes against shorelines Water that falls from the skies and rises in the sewers. Water that fills the floodplain and carries life to its death. Water shed from our own bodies in the form of tears. Tears. Witness to our pain and sorrow, our loneliness and despair, our confusion and hurt. Tears released into the world, speaking our anguish. This water, our tears, we offer to you, O God. Sanctify this water, O Holy One, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that we who have made such an offering may feel their cleansing power. Let us bless the light. In this darkness we call for light, this light brought forth from the beginning of creation, to shine in the shadows of our souls. We yearn for this gracious light to warm us, to nourish us, and to give us strength. We call on this brilliant light to show us our pain so that in seeing it more clearly, we might have the courage to bring it to you. And we ask a Holy One to be with us here in our healing walk upon this darkened earth. A passage from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. And those who lived in the land of deep shadows, a light has shone. For the yoke that was weighing upon them and the burden on their shoulders, you have broken to pieces. O oh God, our Redeemer. We 
light this candle for those experiencing grief, for those who have lost someone they love. Lord, we ask your comfort and consolation for all who are grieving, whose hearts are broken, whether the loss they experience is fresh and raw or changed by the passing of time to longing and aching. We cry out at the thief that death is, robbing us of a future with our loved ones. Come sit with us in our grief, embrace the tangle of emotions that we feel, fill us with your comfort, and make your love known to us. Come, Lord Jesus. A reading from Isaiah 40. Comfort, O comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her, that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out, and I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. Each winter as the year grows older, we each grow and class cry out for treason one sirens call for war they overshout the voice of reason and scream till we ignore all we held dear before yet I believe beyond belief can spring from death, that growth can flower from our grieving, that we can catch our breath and turn transfixed by faith. So even as the sun is turning to journey The candle of joy. We light this candle for those experiencing sickness, sadness, loneliness, anxiety, despair. Lord, there are many burdens that we carry, 
many known only to ourselves, others shared with a few close, trusted individuals, and still others widely known, yet rarely spoken. Sometimes we are overwhelmed with sadness and confusion. Often we feel numb. It is lonely, the suffering. Friends and family don't always understand. While they intend to be helpful, they may say things that are thoughtless or hurtful. Ease our anxiety in the midst of a global pandemic. We pray fervently for the vaccine. Come, sit beside us in our pain and make once again your joy known to us. Come, Lord Jesus. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 2. Thus says the Lord, The people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built, O virgin Israel. Again you shall take up your tambourines and go forth and dance in the merrymakers. Again you shall plant the vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. Here ends our reading. Thank you. 
we light this candle of peace for those experiencing broken relationships, conflict, tension, separation in their families. Lord, our lives are messy. You have made us to be in relationship with one another, and yet we are not always good at respecting and loving one another. Marriages fail, friendships fray, parents and children are at odds, siblings bicker and wound one another. Brokenness makes us feel incomplete. We long for reconciliation and resolution. Where possible, bring restoration to relationships. Where the severing of relationships is the only way forward, bring peace. Where we are at fault, we ask your forgiveness, God. Lord, come, sit with us in our discord, and make your peace known to us. Come, Lord Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Tidings tell, oh, come to us. 
We light this candle for those experiencing unmet expectations, shattered dreams, dashed hopes. Lord, we turn to you with deep longing. We had such hopes and dreams, and yet we come up empty. Our prayers appear to go unanswered, leaving us feeling troubled and bitter. We don't know where to turn. Lord, come sit with us in our yearning and make your hope known to us. Come, Lord Jesus. Reading from John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. In peace and faith. If you are tired, may you find rest. If you are anxious, may you find peace. If you are lonely, may you find comfort. Know that nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus and the blessing of God, creator, redeemer, sustainer, 
will remain with you always.